Amen. Well, we praise the Lord for the opportunity to be back with you once again. Amen. And uh, this is a very important thought we've had on our heart for a few days. And uh, we felt like that it was important that we share it with you here tonight. Uh, normally, I am in Vinton, Virginia, amen, at this time of the month. And uh, due to circumstances beyond our control, uh, we're not there. Uh, so we wanted to come and uh, share this with you this evening. Amen. So we do ask you to be much in prayer for us. We know that without the help of the Lord, we can't do anything. But amen. I'm going to read one verse and then we're going to pray. The Bible said in Revelation chapter 1, verse number 3, Amen. Blessed is he that readeth, amen, and he that heareth the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Heavenly Father, most righteous God, Lord, as we come, I, I once again this evening, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that name, I, all that's above every name, God, I thank you, I, I Lord, for another opportunity, God, that we might be able I, I, to come and share the word of God. I, I, Lord, I pray tonight, God, would you reach down I, I, and anoint me your servant I, I, with the Holy Ghost and with power. I, I, Lord, I pray, help us tonight to encourage somebody. I, I walk with the good word of God I, and what will not fail to give you the praise I, I, the honor and the glory I, I, for it's in the name of Jesus I pray the name I, I, amen and amen I, I will praise the Lord Amen. I, I thought about this. I, I, you know, a lot of times over the years, I, I, whenever you kind of announce or, amen, let it be known that you were going into the book of Revelation, I, a lot of folks would say, ooh, I, I, you know, don't get into that end time stuff. I, I, you know, it scares me. I, I, but, amen, it shouldn't scare you if you're right where you ought to be with God. I, I, amen. For the Bible said that God has not given unto us I, I, the spirit of fear. I, I, but a power love and of a sound mind I, I, amen and the Bible tells us here blessed I, I, is he that readeth I, I, so there is a blessing amen that I, I, we can get from getting into the book of Revelation I, I, but I know that there are a lot of folks I, I, amen they want to stay away from it because of the difference in opinion I, I, doctrinally amen you know you got pre-trib mid-trib post-trib I, I like how one brother said, he said, I'm a pan trip. I, I, amen. Somebody said, what do you mean by that? He said, it's all going to pan out in the end. I, I, amen. So he said, I've got my opinion, I, I, but my opinion don't matter. I, I, amen. The main thing is to get people to realize I, I, that Jesus Christ I, I, is coming again. I, I, friend, and if you're ready, I, I, amen, it's going to be a great day. I, I, but you know there are a lot of folks that get kind of discouraged I, I, with everything that is going on I, amen around us and I do believe this evening I, I, that we are living in the last days I, I, but friend there are some things I, I, that you and I can gather I, I, from the good word of God here in the book of Revelation I, I, despite amen what point of doctrine I, I, that you may lean to I, I, amen or what your end time view is I, I, amen. And I hope tonight I, I, the Lord will help us to encourage you. I, amen. Along this journey I, I, to know that it is a blessing. I, I, not only to read it, I, I, but to hear it. I, and to keep those things I, I, which are written therein. I, I, for the time is at hand. Amen. One of the first things. I, amen. God began to deal with me about. I, I, amen. Verse number 13. I, I, when he said, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, I, I one likened unto the Son of God man, I, I clothed with a garment down to the foot and gird I, I about the pipes with a golden girdle. I, I, somebody said, what's the significant? I, amen. About him being in the midst of the seven I, I golden candlesticks. I, I, well, that tells me, amen, that he's still I, I, in the midst of his church. I, and I know sometimes the enemy I, I would love to lie to you how to make you feel like maybe God is a million. I, 
I'm miles away and I, I'm no, no worse near the vicinity of what you're going through with. I, I, but may I say tonight, the devil is a liar I, I, and the father of it. I, amen. God is still in the midst of his church. I, and friend, that ought to encourage us. I, I know the Bible said that we're the spirit I, I, of the Lord is there is liberty. I, I, amen. So we ought to have a desire I, I, in our heart to be in the house of God. I, I, the Bible said in Hebrews 10 and 25, I, I, let us I, I not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. I, amen. As the matter of some is, I, I, even the more so as we see that day approaching. I, I, so I'm glad. I, I pray that we can discern, I, I, that we can gather, that we can be encouraged. I, I, amen. That even in these last days, I, amen, that God is still in the midst I, I, of his church tonight. Amen. I, I, hallelujah to God. I, I, he's not, amen, that far away from us. I, I, amen. The Bible teaches us, I, I, amen, that he said, I'll go with you I, I, all the way even until the end of the world. I, and brother, I believe that he is still our source. I, I, amen. The source that we need to tap into. I, I, but amen, not only do we find in verse 13, I, I, but down in verse 18, I, I, he said, I am he that liveth I, and was dead I, I, and behold I'm alive forevermore I, I, amen I, I, friend we're not serving a dead God I, I, but he makes that proclamation I, I, I'm alive and alive forevermore I, I, 2021 will not change that I, I, the world cannot change that I, I, they may want to do away with him to try to hide I, I, amen the truth of his word I, I, but friend he is still very much alive. I, I, hallelujah. And I'm thankful this evening I, I, that we can draw from that encouragement. I, I know that not only I, I, is he alive, I, I, but he has the authority. I, I, for he said, I, I have the keys of hell and of death. I, I pray we're not serving one that's limited, I, I, but the Bible said now to him I, I, that is able to do exceedingly I, I, and abundantly. I, Amen. Above all that we ask or think. Amen. According to that power which worketh in us. Amen. So I'm glad. I'm not certain the great I was. He's still the great I am. And he's got the power to change your life. If you look to him. Amen. You can find the encouragement that you need this evening. Amen. But as we come over into the church age, I, I, you know, I, I thought about how the, here in Ephesus, I, I, like many of the other churches, I, I, they had a lot of good things going on. I, I, but he said, there, nevertheless, I, I have somewhat against thee, I, I, because thou hast left thy first love. I, and you know, sometimes the enemy, I, I would love to browbeat us and I, I make us feel like a failure. Have you ever been there? I, I, where the enemy me, amen, kind of, I, I try to spotlight and I, I highlight, amen, your failures, I, I, where you come soaring, I, I, but I tell you what encourages me, I, I, the fact that the message was in verse 5, I, I remember from whence thou art fallen and repent, I, aren't you thankful for the mercy of God this evening, I, I, that in the midst of it all, I, I, that whenever you mess up, I, I, you ain't got to throw in the towel, I, amen, and give up, I, I, I met so many in my life I, I, that have done that. I, I, you know, they run well for a little while. I, I, but then when something hindered them, I, I, when something they may come against them, I, I, they begin to throw in the towel and surrender. I, I, to give up and to quit. I, I, but may I say to you this evening, I, I friend, God's message I, I, in this last day hour I, I, is to get ready and to repent. I, I, brother, to get back. Amen. I, I, amen. Where you once was. I, I, somebody said, How can I do that? I, I, through repentance. I, I, God's a forgiving God. I, he said, My little children, I write unto you. I, I, that you sin not, but an if any man sin. I, I, we've got an advocate with the Father. I, I, Jesus Christ the righteous. I, I, amen. I, I, so I'm thankful. I, I, 
for the message of grace. And how many said, he that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. So the seed that, amen, don't let the enemy convince you and discourage you, amen, to just throw up your hands and give up because you got a little off track, because you got derailed or, amen, sidestepped a little bit, amen, but repent, get up, dust yourself off, get back on that tyrant line, now's no time to give up, we're closer to home than we've ever been before in our life, and I really believe the same night, amen, as he said, we need an ear, my friend, to hear what the Spirit is saying under the church, amen, but all through here, chapter 2 and chapter 3, that message of repenting and being an overcomer, I pray it is still possible today, don't let the devil, amen, lie to you about your past, you ain't got to live there, but you can be like the Apostle Paul and forget those things that are behind you and reach for those things that are before, amen, and press toward the mark for the prize and the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. And so I thought about that. Amen. Great encouragement, repentance. Amen. We we don't hear enough of that. Amen. A lot of times you've got one extreme or the other. Somebody said, well, it don't matter. And then others say, you've gone so far you can't get back. I'm glad that's in the hand of God. That's why the writer of Lamentation said, Amen. This will I recall to my mind. And therefore will I have hope ha, ha, that it is of the Lord's mercy ha, ha, that we are not consumed ha, ha, for his compassions ha, ha, they fail not but they're new every morning ha, ha, hallelujah ha, I said God is still ha, ha, crying out to his church to repent ha, ha, to get right ha, ha, amen that's a blessing ha, ha, in reading and hearing and understanding ha, ha, what he said ha, and yet there are many people which say oh stay away from that I, I, the devil would love to have us. I, I think that, amen, there's nothing here that we can glean from. I, I, that it's all, amen, above your head. I, I, but for God has made it so simple. I, I, that, amen, we can understand it. I, I, if we we'll just get in I, and pray for the wisdom I, and the understanding. I, I, for he said, if any man I, I lack wisdom, let him ask of God, I, who give it liberally unto all men, I, I, and upbraideth not. So I believe that it's important. I, I, but amen, we come over into chapter 4. I, and whenever I read chapter 4, I'm reminded of that old song. I, I wonder what they're doing in heaven today. I, I, you know, sin and sorrow all passed away. I, and we find about those 20 and 4 elders, or the 4 and 20 elders, I, I, that fell down and worshipped him. I, I, that liveth forever, and that cast their crowns I, I, before his throne. I, I said, thou art worshipped. Worthy, ha, ha, to receive glory and honor and power ha, ha, for thou hast created all things ha, and for thy pleasure they are ha, ha, amen and were created ha, ha, you're not a mistake today ha, ha, God made you with a purpose ha, ha, that's why Paul said I am ha, ha, what I am by the grace of God ha, and the grace that he bestowed upon me ha, ha, was not in vain ha, ha, God don't make junk. I, I, maybe you've been knocked down a few times. I, and that devil has said, well, you tried. I, I, and it ain't gonna work. I'm I trying to get you to just give up. I, I, amen. To stay down. I, I, but friend, I, I, I'm gonna ask you this evening, why will you die? I, I, why will you stay there? I, I, get up, call on the name of the Lord. I, I, friend, and God can give you back your praise. I, I, God can give you, amen, a song I, I, that even the angels Angels can't sing. Amen. So there is an encouragement that we can find by reading the Word of God this evening. 
Amen. And so, I, amen, I, I, I love how that each chapter has its own little message of encouragement. I, I, amen. Chapter 5. I, amen. I, I thought about how that he said, I, I, amen, here in chapter 5. I, amen. As he had looked for somebody to take that book, I, I, amen, loose the seals and to look their own. I, I, the Bible said here, I, in verse number 4, I wept much I, I, because no man was found worthy. I, I, to open and to read the book, neither to look their own. I, and you know, sometimes in life, I, I, we can get to a point that we look in every direction I, I, but God. I, I, amen. And when you look to the world, I, I, you're going to be discouraged. I, I, but if you're looking to Jesus, I, I, who is the author I, I, and the finisher of our faith, I, I, you can find the encouragement, my friend. I, I, you can find, amen, hope today. I, and I love how that one of the elders said, Weep not I, I, for the line of the tribe of Judah. I, I, amen. The root of David has prevailed. I, I, to open the book to loose the seven seals thereof. I, I, in other words, I, I, amen. When you look to Jesus, you'll find I, it's not hopeless. I, I, amen. There's hope in him today. I, I, but we are in a time I, I, where the enemy is trying to rob us I, I, of the hope that we have in God. I, I, but I'll say again, I, I, that devil is a liar. I, I, and the father of it, I, amen, God wants us to know today I, I, that there's hope because of him. I really believe that. I, amen. I said there's hope because of him. I, I, but there are a lot of people today, amen, because they've never read that. I, amen. They just, I, I, they say, man, things are bad. I, and the Bible does teach us I, I, that in this world it's going to wax worse. I, I, amen. But this world is not our final destination. I, I, Jesus said in John 14, let not your heart be troubled. I, I neither let it be afraid. You believe in God, believe also in me. I, I, friend, my father's house. I, I, there are many mansions. I, I, friend, my hope goes beyond this world. I, I, beyond what I see. I, I, amen. I, I know that in this life, I, I, nobody's going to come with the answer. I, I, to fix it down here, this world is a hidden down. I, I, but you and I that are part of the church, I, I, the living God, I, I, friend, we're hidden up, amen. I, I, like them old timers used to say, I, I'm not looking for the under taker. I, I, I'm looking for the upper taker. I, I praise the good Lord. I, I, but instead of pulling out the encouragement, I, I, friend, there are a lot of folks seem like they want to get in here. I, I find some to argue about. I, I, friend, we ain't got no time I, I, to sit around and debate. I, I, amen. And argue about little points of things. I, I, amen. We need to get in and tell people I, I, Jesus Christ is coming. I, and Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I, I feel without it, you'll never make it. I, I, but because of him, I, I said because of him, I, I, we've got hope today. Amen. We find in chapter 6 of Revelation. I, amen. About a time when judgment is coming. I, amen. And how the kings of the earth and the great men. I, I, and the rich men and the chief captains. I, I, the Bible said in the mighty men. Verse number 15 and 16. I, I, amen. And every free man hid themselves in dens and rocks of the mountains. I, and they said to the mountains and the rocks. Fall on us. I, and hide us. I, I, from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and I, I, from the wrath of the Lamb. I, I, friend, but there is no hiding place outside of Christ. I, I, the Bible said the name of the Lord I, I, is a strong tower I, and the righteous I, I run into it and they're saved. I, amen. Aren't you glad I, I, that we can find that hope today? I, I, to know that amen by reading the book of Revelation I, I, amen the revelation of Jesus Christ I, I, that we have a place that he is prepared for us a, a place of safety a, a, amen knowing that it's going to work out a, a, amen a, I said it's going to work out a, a, because God a, has never lost a battle yet 
And I think I love chapter 7 as well. Ha! Amen. Chapter 7 of the book of Revelation. Ha! Ha! Amen. Sometimes I meet ministers. Ha! Ha! Christian people that are discouraged. And ha! Ha! Because that maybe they've had some bad experiences. Ha! And somebody has done them wrong. Ha! ha! Amen. Have you ever had somebody do you wrong? Ha! ha! You know, and they get down in what I call that Elijah type syndrome. Ha! Ha! I'm thinking, well, ain't nobody living right. Have you ever done that? Or maybe known somebody? How that did that or felt that way? How you know? But I love what God said unto Elijah. I get reserved unto myself. I have seven thousand in Israel that have not bowed a knee to Baal. I have no kissed his image. In other words, Elijah, you're not the only one. And here in Revelation chapter seven, verse number nine, he said, and after this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number. Of all nations and kindred and people and tongues, I stood before the throne before the Lamb, I clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Apparently, somebody, I still living right. Amen. I said, a multitude, a number that no man can number is going to make it. John saw it. That ought to encourage us to keep running on. Amen. I tell you, like an old sister said one time, I she said, long as I'm in that number, I don't care about nothing else. I, I, amen. I just got to make it. I, I, that ought to be our heart's cry. I, I, amen. To say it long and loud. I, I, that I'm not ashamed of the gospel I, of Jesus Christ. I, I, for it is the power of God I, I, unto salvation. Amen. And so, amen. We found that great multitude that had made it. And so, amen, despite looking at the world and all of the folks that are selling out, that are giving up, that are laying it down, boy, it's good to read that they're still going to be a great number, that no man can number, that are going to make it and stand before God. Friend, that ought to encourage us to keep marching on. Ha! Amen. Ha! Ha! But in chapter 8, amen, chapter 8 and verse number 3, it's talking about our prayers. Ha! ha amen. I, I know my granny used to be the worst. Ha! I should say sometimes she get discouraged. Ha! I should say, and I've heard this in other churches as well. Ha! ha she said, man, I feel like I ain't to get my prayers above my ceiling. Ha! Amen. And I told her one time, granny, ha! ha they ain't got to go up there above your ceiling. Ha! Uh, he lives in your heart. Uh, uh, amen. They ain't got to break through the atmosphere. Uh, uh, beyond, amen, Mars and Jupiter and planets. Uh, uh, that are out there, the sun, the stars. Uh, uh, but here in chapter 8, verse number 3. Uh, uh, the Bible said, And another angel came and stood. Uh, at the altar, having a golden censer. Uh, and there was given him much incense that he should offer. Uh, uh, with the prayers of all saints. Uh, upon the golden altar that was before the throne. I, I, you see your prayers. I, I, they went somewhere. I, I, amen. I said your prayers have made it. I, I, God's eyes are over the righteous I, and his ears are open I, I, unto our prayers, to our cries. I, and he mentioned, don't let the devil lie to you this evening I, and tell you that your prayers ain't a getting nowhere. Now, if you got sin, I, I, sin will hinder your prayer. I, I, I repent, get that out of the way. I, uh, but just because you don't see the evidence, uh, uh, amen, of your prayers being answered, it doesn't mean that God's uh, uh, turned a deaf ear uh, or God's not listening. Uh, uh, but everything uh, uh, in his time and in his season. So I believe it's so important today. Uh, amen, that we let God be the truth and every man a liar. Uh, amen, and there are other places through here that I can read about, uh, about the prayers. Uh, Amen to the saints about those vows. Ha! Amen that are there and that ought to encourage us today to keep on praying. Ha! Ha! You say, well, I prayed and I haven't seen the answer, but the Bible said, let us not grow weary. Ha! Ha! In well-doing for in due season, ha! Ha! we shall reap if. Ha! Ha! We faint not. Ha! Ha! Amen. So keep on crying out. Ha! Ha! Keep on praying. Ha! Ha! Somebody said, but I got a bad report. Doesn't matter. Ha! Ha! You keep on praying. Keep on believing God. Ha! Ha! God can turn things around, I, I, even at that midnight hour, I, I, even, even at the last minute, I, I, even in John 11 when it seemed like he was four days late, I, I, he was still I, I, just on time. I, I, my God is never late today. I, I, so it is a blessing to 
read, I, I, to hear, I, I, and to keep those things. I, I, so instead of shying away from it, I, I, friend, we ought to dive into it. I, I, we ought to study to show ourselves approved. I, I, workman that needeth not to be ashamed. I, I, rightly dividing the word of truth. I, I, friend, we need to get in there I, and let God be the truth. I, and every man a liar. So this evening, amen, I wanted to encourage us. Amen, and I have. I've had people, amen, they, they put in their order. You know, I tell them, this ain't Burger King and you can't have it your way. Amen, this is about being led. Somebody said, well, you ought to preach this or that. Amen. I don't preach what I want to preach. I preach what I feel like God wants me to preach. Ha! Amen. And sometimes, amen, that can be a scary thing to the flesh. Ha! Ha! Somebody said, what do you mean scary? Ha! I mean in the fact that, you know, you study, you got something, you know, and you, you kind of have the material down in your mind. Ha! And then God said, no, go with this. And you think, well, ha! I don't know that. I've not studied that the way that I have this other message. And so you go dependent upon God. Ha! And so I Want to encourage you to see that how you'll never go wrong depending upon God. I, I, but I want us to go on through a couple of these verses here. I, I, amen. And get on down to chapter 19. I, I, amen. In chapter 19, after we've seen the ups and the downs, I, amen. And how the mercy of God would reach out I, and it would say time and time again, and yet they repented not. I, I thought, man, what's it going to take how to get our people to turn around, I, how to turn back to God, I, and yet many times, I, I, amen, God reaches out, and they don't repent, they don't consider, I, I, but one day, friend, this thing's coming to a head, it's coming to the end, ready or not, amen, he's coming, and in Revelation 19 and 11, and I love this, he said, and I saw heaven open, amen, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, Man, what a wonderful reminder for the days of uncertainty and hopelessness that we are constantly bombarded with, that we serve a God whose name is faithful and true, that you can count on him, amen, that you can trust him. I know sometimes the enemy tries to come in through our lack of understanding of things and tries to rob us of the stability, amen, that we have. Amen. And, and we begin, I hear people question, why does this happen? Ha! Ha! Why do bad things happen to good people? But amen, through it all, there's a plan. Ha! And there is a purpose. Ha! And the Bible said, amen, that he's called faithful and true and in righteousness. Ha! He to judge and make war. Ha! Amen. Ha! Ha! Boy, I tell you, I, I love getting into the book of Revelation and reading ha! and beginning to look at a few of these things. Ha! Ha! But amen, let me jump on over to chapter 12. Ha, amen. And we'll just not be with you but a few more minutes. Ha, amen. But he's telling us about a place. Ha, amen. After judgment, after everything that is over. Ha, ha, friend, it's not to where we just go away and fade away to nothing. Ha, ha, but he said in Revelation 21 and 4, and God shall wipe away ha, ha, all tears ha, ha, from their eyes and there shall be no more death. Ha, ha, neither sorrow nor crying. Ha, ha, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things I, I passed away. Boy, doesn't that sound like a place that you want to go to? And yet, amen, folks are taking advantage, amen, of the ignorance of the people of God. I, a lot of times, amen, because we don't read and we don't look and we don't see. I, I don't know that we have got something to look forward to, a heaven to gain I, and a hell to shine. I, and I was telling them, amen, there earlier, I, I said there yesterday, amen, there was a, a video came through and, I, and you know, you've you got to be careful what you plug into. I, I, not everything that is out there, amen, is of the right spirit. I, I'm not being judgmental. I, I'm just saying, amen, not everything out there is accurate. And sometimes, I, I folks, they take things at face value. I, and you know, there was a man was talking about, I, I, amen, Revelation. I, I, and, he, and he said, chapter 20 and 21, I, I, amen, saying that was the end of the book, but it's not. I, I, there is no Revelation, chapter 20, verse 21. I, I, it actually only goes down to verse 15. 15. I, I, but he was trying to make that seem like that this was the year and set a day. I, I, amen. And I wonder how many took his word as gospel I, I, when it was as far out there in left field I, I, as a man could be. When the Bible said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits and see whether or not they be of God. I thought about what about chapter 21? What about chapter 22? 
and uh, and you know he he made this whole little thing presentation around amen 2021 as if you know that was the end of the book but it's not and friend god has still got a plan for you and i so don't allow somebody else to close the book on you amen and say this is it this is over we still got a job to do amen to let our lives so shine before men that when they see our good works they'll glorify our father which is in heaven but amen, I, I mean, and I've just been kind of dotting and just, you know, hitting the high points. I, amen, but this is a message, amen, that God had been dealing with me, and there's so much more. I, amen, that time, and amen, my 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 physical strength would not allow me, amen, to get in there. I, I, amen, without, you know, a good double portion of that anointing. I, I, amen, to, you know, deal with it all. And maybe one day I'll get in and be able to preach it all out. I, I, maybe in the next revival or something like that like that. I, I, but here in chapter 21, there's so much. I, amen. I, I, that we've got as encouragement for he said, he that overcometh. I, I, verse number 7, shall inherit all things. I, and I will be his God and he I, I shall be my son. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murderer and the whoremongers and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So, friend, amen, this is serious. And it comes on over to chapter 22, amen, as I close the evening. Amen, listen to what he said. Verse number 18, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues which are written in this book. And if any man shall take away of the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from all things that are written in this book. And he which testified these things said, Surely I come quickly. Even so, Lord Jesus, come. So man, what a great encouragement that we can glean from the book of Revelation. Amen. You know, there's sometimes we end up kind of like John whenever he saw that woman riding the beast. Amen. And he, he, when he saw her, he marveled. And we allow things that maybe are not really good for us to get our attention. And the angel asked him, said, why did thou marvel? Amen. And I, I'm afraid that we're in a time we've allowed the wrong things to, to get our awe and our attention when we should be turning back to the things of God and letting God encourage us by his word so i pray today that i'll give you something to think about amen something to encourage you that the book of revelation is not something that amen you ought to be afraid of and while people are fighting amen when we're leaving amen don't forget the fact that we are leaving amen that he is coming back for his church ready or not amen he's coming Amen. And what people are trying to fight, you know, uh, pre-millennial, amen, amen, all these things, amen. Don't forget that he is still King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So I pray, may God bless you this evening. And I pray I've said something to encourage you in some small way. God bless you is my prayer in Jesus' name. Have a good evening.